start first because I'm talking about your career today. In doing my research, uh, I came across the article where you spoke about um, your brother as well. Okay. It's okay, we can talk about it. Okay, so we are rolling. Cassius Winston, I'm from uh, Detroit, Michigan, uh, west side of Detroit, born and raised. Probably started playing basketball around three, four years old. It's kind of been my first love since then. Uh, just what me and my, my brothers and my dad kind of did. Uh, dragged our mom with us too, so she was along with the ride. I feel like Detroit is, honestly, I say the best city in the world. It's just one of those cities where it's a lot of love, uh, there's a lot of people that care about you, and it's one of those things that make you just, you have to grow up. It kind of makes you have this chip on your shoulder of us versus the world. Growing up there, you could ask anybody, it's always you're going to see me and my brothers. Like, that's just everything. Everything we're doing, everywhere we're going is uh, me and my two little brothers. That's just, that's what we do, and I wouldn't trade if anything. Memories all day. You got us on the court. You got us playing games. You got us watching TV. You got us just in the back laughing, us at picnics, us at barbecues. That's what we are, we down to earth, we simple, we family, we gonna play card games, we gonna play the game and talk trash. Like, all those memories I still have vividly because that's just, that's how we grew up, that's, that's who we were. Since I've can remember it's always been there for me. It's always been something that I did, always been something that I kind of gravitated towards, that I sacrificed for. It's a part of me. It's a part of what I do. It's a part of who I am. It's a part of me growing up. It's a, it's a part of my story. Everybody has their own passions, their own dreams, their own things that they want to go out there and try to master and try to perfect and sacrifice for, and basketball has been, been one of those things to me. It is more than a game to us. This is, this is a part of life. We'll play, it'll be me, my best friend, my dad, and my two little brothers. That'll be our five, and we'll be out there playing against grown men. And it's just like, that's just what we, we enjoyed that. That's just what we did. So it's always been that kind of like sanctuary for me. And as time goes and you grow up and things get harder, life get harder, more problems show up. Like basketball is always one of those things that I can always rely on and just take a break. Zach was, honestly, he was probably the one that was holding us all together. You know what I mean? Everybody was, our, our family, everybody has their own thing. Everybody's different in a way. Zach was the one that always come, come through and make sure everybody was smiling, everybody was laughing. Everybody was relaxed. Everybody was, you know what I'm saying, not stressing too much. He was always going to be there to put a smile on your face, always going to say something goofy, off the wall, just something that you're not expecting to just kind of keep us, like, you know what I mean, level-headed. You don't really notice it until it's, until it's gone, which is the crazy part. But, like, once, you, once it's gone, you kind of just, like, you, you feel that void kind of missing all the time. So that was, that was what he was for us. He was the... He was the glue guy. He was the one that kind of kept everybody together. He was the one that kind of kept everybody smiling, everybody laughing, everybody in a good mood. Like my brother didn't do it for, to stop anybody else. You know what I'm saying? He was, he had his own pain. He had his own demons. He had his own struggle that he was going through and he didn't want to put that on anybody else. That's why he did what he did. He didn't, it wasn't because he wanted everybody to, to go down with him. He was my brother, he's still my brother, he's always gonna be my brother, and he's, he's with me, you know what I'm saying? As long as I'm still walking and breathing and talking, then he's gonna be there right there with me, and it's always gonna be that way. Before every game, I handshake with my brother before the game. I talk to him, I pray when, whenever the anthem's going, I pray and talk to my brother just to check in. My little brother and my dad, who still like he still plays too, and he said the same thing. Before he go out there, he still tap in with Smoothie, like we tap in with him and make sure that he know that like we all right, we still here, we still kicking it, we still going out here trying to trying to make things happen. It's always something that you have to worry about, you got to fix. But right here, these little 
three, four minutes before the game, like everything is just, everything's still, you know what I'm saying? Like I got time to clear my head. I got time to talk to my brother. Like I know we connected, you know what I'm saying? I know that, I know that he's still watching. I know that he's still, you feel me? He's still there with me. And we probably had the handshake maybe 10, 15 years now. And what happened was he couldn't snap. So it was supposed to be after it, where I tapped my chest, it was supposed to be a snap. But he couldn't snap, and I think I broke my wrist, so I couldn't clap. So then we had to come up with something in between. So it come with the, the uh, chest tap, and then, uh, you know what I'm saying, like a little shoulder bump type thing. Whenever I get in my thoughts, and we have a conversation, and I talk to him, and I feel like he talked to me back, then you can handshake after. Like, just, like I said, just like I said, he's, that's my brother. And we all slip. We all slip in our, in our certain points, and it's normal, you know what I'm saying? I've slipped, and probably will slip again, and probably slip again after that. It's just, it's a part of, growing, it's a part of healing. I can't sit here and say that everything's been all like great and I've been amazing and you know what I'm saying, I just pick my head up and keep going. Like, no, I, I go through it, you know what I'm saying? Some days I don't want to fight. Some days I want to give up. Other days, you know what I'm saying, I, I think about it and I think what they want from me and how he want me to keep pushing. So I, I pick my head up from there and, and go back out there and fight. Make sure my brother's proud, my family's proud, and myself, I can walk up my head high and say, you know what I mean, I didn't give up. So all those things uh, kind of just, like I said, keep motivating you, keep pushing you. Where I'm from, how I grew up, the type of person I am, like I just, I, 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 don't, I don't quit, you know what I'm saying? Like I just don't, I don't quit. So like I said, we keep pushing and that's what my brother want for me, that's what my family want for me and just keep doing what we need to do.